As we learned in Joel's report, Estela de Corloto is the head of the advocacy group, Grandmothers of the Plaza de Mayo. In an exclusive interview, he explored the hard-fought battle to connect with her grandson and what it may mean for other grandmothers still searching for lost loved ones. Eh, lógicamente... The appearance of Guido is something that he looked for. It was he who wanted to know the truth. It seemed to be a miracle. It's not that I didn't believe I'd find him. I knew I would, but I didn't know when. When would it happen? I prayed I wouldn't die without hugging him. I call him Guido. He goes by another name, but I told him, I'll call you Guido because I looked for you for 37 years, thinking of you as Guido. The whole campaign was searching for Guido. And it was the request of his mother that he be called that. He said he'll keep the name he has always used, so he'll be called Ignacio Guido. Well, Estela, everybody in Argentina and around the world has been talking about this news. And, and what's the reaction been then here in Argentina? And has there been much more interest in, in the search for the missing grandchildren? In terms of the effect, while many children who have the age range that we are looking for have come forward, our office is full, the phone lines are saturated. We had 11 million hits on the websites, 11 million people. That's a quarter of the population. Before, we have found other grandchildren and people have been pleased. The media have covered the story, but it has never been like this. Why? Well, I believe people needed the story. They needed this, this reparation for a group of women who never kicked up a fuss. We never lied, we never negotiated, nor lost our honor, nor offended anyone. Our language is sweet. It is of love and in peace. We don't provoke violence, and that is what it seems people need. They thought we'd never find them. They were going to leave a society with a gap, a void of 500 babies who they thought would never discover their identity and whose families would not find them. They forgot that the mothers and grandmothers were here. And Estela, what happens now, both for you personally, but also for the organization, there are still an estimated 400 cases. So, so where do the abuelas de Plaza de Mayo go from here? As our objectives are not resolved, we have to continue, both us and those who come after us. Whoever is in government, this search will continue for memory, for truth, and for justice.